why I, why are a lot of people that have that have insomnia why are they prescribed you know these sedatives like you know ambien or well they don't not work i mean like like i was saying like what they do is they drive up that sleep drive so much it overpowers whatever's in the way and it's kind of an easy solution the thing is Honestly, it's much easier to write a prescription. Like you can go to any primary care anywhere and they can write a prescription. But if you if you look at every medical organization that has any recommendation around in how to treat insomnia. And for athletes, you know, this includes like NCAA and IOC who who've put out sleep related materials. Um they all say CBTI first. And that's because every study that has ever been done shows that when you compare, when you pool the data from CBTI trials, it works shockingly well. Not only does it work reliably well, it works when you have other, like, well, what about if you're in chronic pain? Like the pain is keeping you up. How is that you don't have conditioned arousal? You have an active thing going on. Still works and works in fibromyalgia works in chronic pain, works in cancer. It actually might be better in cancer survivors than people who aren't cancer survivors because they don't want to take these medications. They're more motivated. It works in sleep apnea. It works before your sleep apnea is even treated. It helps with your insomnia. Uh, find me a condition. Works in older people, works in younger people, works in... So like, it, it's a blunt instrument. It's retraining yourself to sleep. It doesn't, it, it, and it works well by helping people gain control. It doesn't necessarily add hours to your night, but neither do sleeping pills either. What it does is it removes some of those barriers. About, again, about 85% of the time, not 100%. But it's also, some people don't know how to get access to it. Or they read about it online and either the, the information they get isn't isn't great or they have exposure to it in that, you know, maybe, you know, maybe they're doing it by the book, but they might need a little flexibility with it or something. But I mean, there's lots of adaptations. I mean, we edited a textbook on how to adapt CBTI to different populations. But, you know, a lot of people just don't know it exists. And the people who do don't really understand what it is or how to find someone who knows what they're doing. Is that the key? 